Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Shamanti. Today I have few skincare products with me that did not work for me. The tail of my misery is here. So let's start with this product in my hand that broke my heart. This is Earth Rhythm Cleansing Jelly Gel to Milk. So this product it promises to remove makeup. It also can work as all over cleansing thing. So let me read the claims of this product so I can tell you why it disappointed me badly. So the brand claims this daily cleanser that easily removes makeup. It doesn't remove makeup that well to be very honest and I don't use much makeup. I tested it on concealer, primer and mascara and eyeliner. Concealer, primer it removed but eye makeup. It's a struggle. Actually, my eyes sting when I use this product. I prefer my micellar water as first cleanser any day over this because when I use my this Bioderma micellar water for removing the eye makeup, my eyes feel alright. But with this, my eyes do burn. And there are other things that I don't like. I'm coming to that. So it says it removes makeup and impurities without over drying. It didn't over dry my skin but it left this oily residue which i didn't like initially i used this with cleanse me which has very mild surfactant so i blamed cleanse me for not removing the oily residue but then i used this with liquid oil control face wash which has decent sorry for that all right which has decent surfactants but still my skin had this oily residue from this cleanser and this is mostly glycerin, emulsifiers and oils. And they say upon contact with water, this product transforms to a soft milk-like cleanser. Obviously because it has emulsifiers. It gives this milky texture and it happens with other cleansing balms as well. I have tried Vanilla Co, then Hamish cleansing balm. When this meat water, this get this, you know, milky texture. But I won't buy this again simply because first it doesn't remove makeup that well, stings my eyes, oil residue I didn't like. Do I like the ingredients but didn't work for me because the purpose of first cleanser to make the job easy for the second cleanser and to remove it, the makeup well, it does everything that I don't like about a first cleanser. So no and i'm struggling how i'm gonna finish this maybe i'm gonna use this on my neck or somewhere else and please let me know what are your favorite products from earth rhythm the things that worked for you i might try those products because i really want this brand to work for me that i want to find something something favorite you know from this brand i am here to try their murumuru butter shampoo bar yeah so i hope it works i really hope it works but this one, disappointing. I have a little bit of eye makeup. It's not coming off. I mean, it's taking... Oh, this is the thing. My eyes are stinging like anything. When I use this gel, my eyes really go through pain. Even the lip tint doesn't come off that well but lip tints are kind of stubborn so it's okay i think but micellar water works better for my lip tints than this i think it's definitely not good because i can't even work my mascara and this because my eyes are really burning see you can see the water coming out of my eyes because it's burning like anything so i'm gonna go and wash it off because it's not uh, not for me okay so next i'm guilty of buying another eye cream another overpriced eye cream because i was blinded by the ingredients and i thought okay this is maybe the other eye creams those were bad but this will be the one this is aquel i hope i'm pronouncing this right eye cream it has licorice root extract licorice water 
Nasna Mind, all the good stuff. I need to see. It has 5.5 pH, fragrance free, this and that, everything, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> and I see these days I have more under eye circle, you know, than usual. I have been using this for two months. So I don't blame this product because I'm going through a lot of stress lately and my schedule has been crazy. Can be that. I mean, this is that. This product didn't help at all. Do I like the texture? Do I like the ingredients? But I didn't see any result and I paid 2300 something for this 30 ml of product. I don't think I'm going to invest on eye creams anytime soon because they don't even do their job. And this is expensive it has good ingredients still it didn't work i mean it didn't do anything even it is not enough moisturizing it has this light texture which is very good but uh, hydration and moisturization wise not as impressed so up next i have this simple ultra light moisturizer and i have dry skin maybe that's why it didn't work for me because it has super duper trooper looper whatever light texture it almost feels like if ss and toner they make love and they have a baby that would be this didn't feel enough hydrating so i'm using this as morning <laughs> cleansing lotion just to finish this and it's working that way but as a moisturizer felt on my skin a big no no but if you have super duper oily skin might work might work but on my dry skin i mean i have kind of dry skin not super dry skin my skin used to be super dry but now is all right because years of good skincare habit i'm proud of myself so anyway but still it didn't work for me so no and then glycerin so i thought I saw this hack that makes glycerin with your daily moisturizer you're gonna have you know extra hydration this and that and I believed it so, <laughs> I mean it's very tricky to use with glycerin because it's very sticky so you have to use very little amount but I used this for some time but I found out my skin was becoming dry my skin is supposed to be hydrated and whatever but my skin was becoming dry because this is the thing hematins are very tricky to work with if you don't know how to formulate these things with a product in a product properly it can dry out your skin it can make your skin dehydrated so i think that's what happened to me i shouldn't like play chemist and hacks no i thought i'm gonna give you this wonderful hack after trying this out it's gonna work on my skin <sighs> no and i'm happy i tried this because i found this it doesn't work i have to on my skin and how i'm gonna finish this thing i think i'm gonna mix it with body lotion just to finish this and if you use glycerin in your skincare let me know how you use it if it works for you i'm interested to know but next my another heartbreak that came from this minimalist vitamin c serum I really wanted you to work vitamin C why it has so good ingredients it's like dating this perfect guy you always thought you know he's gonna be perfect like you have this checklist that okay he has to be this he has to be that and you meet this guy and be with him but then you realize no he's perfect but not the one and this happened with this product my skin like was breaking out i had rash and i tried this on three different occasions so it's not one time three times it happened so my skin did not like this so i like the ingredients very much i hope it works for you if you have it but for me no next yeah i have this uh, trial kit from innisfree the cherry blossom thing i have the toner lotion and toner cream this toner cream is vicious leaves white cast like anything didn't like it obviously toner creams are like that they leave white cast so am i being snotty <laughs> sorry i don't want to be because you know why i'm being like this and being mean because these things destroyed my skin my 
skin had you know bumps for these things and it's my mistake because i know i knew when i saw the ingredients that these were not that good not 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 that good not good uh, but still i went ahead and like let's be open minded let's try let's try it might work but didn't this toner and this lotion over centered ingredients are not that good gave me bumps on my skin so no i don't recommend you there like it is free cherry blossom line no 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 i don't recommend if it works for you then fine but i won't recommend i won't use this things on my skin because ingredients no performance no so why so why so last at last i have two products actually these are lip balm same old lip balm this is flower beauty pout pretty no no petal pout a lip mask this is very strange the smell is weird first uh, doesn't moisturize or hydrate my lips that much overpriced i would pick my you know 100 rupees ka lip balm over this any day doesn't work didn't work for me and this note bb natural color what is this lip corrector so this is you know hybrid of uh, makeup and skin care so they say it has collagen this and that your lips are going to be like oh ho so good like a goddess but doesn't do anything very average and it's going to expensive i think 750 for this and i paid like 800 800 or 850 for this so overpriced i would use my normal lip balms over this any day because not worth my money and the color is very weird of this product though the packaging is kind of cute i like it but not buying products for packaging right so and yeah other products that didn't work for me i think oh this uh, simple moisturizer say yaad aaya this sugandha aloe okay so this sugandha aloe gel didn't work for me i didn't find this hydrating uh, felt extremely light didn't do much for my skin what else i recently i tried that you know honey not honey rice mask from i am from i told you right those granules from rice mills were bad my skin was like in pain i feel like i was rubbing something so harsh that my skin is crying for help that feeling you know i don't like that feeling so it didn't work then yeah neogen products didn't work for me so yeah that's all for now hope you found this to be helpful and thank you so much for watching and please Do not forget to subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this. See you very soon.